How's it going everyone? My name is Matt and um, I'm making a series here on Webpack, uh, just the basics. Um, I'm going to do a couple short videos here and the basic reason why I'm making these videos is that, um, you know, I feel like I've, I've personally struggled with Webpack. I know a lot of other people have um, and now that I've, you know, finally kind of wrapped my head around it, um, I just wanted to make uh, some tutorials here that show you the basics, but um, I'm going to also try to explain line for line exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and what Webpack is doing. Um, I think the problem with Webpack is that besides that, the, you know, the documentation is dense and it's a little bit hard of an API to figure out. Um, to me, a lot of resources I found while I was trying to learn Webpack kind of just give you the code and just tell you what to write, but they don't necessarily explain why you're writing it, um, what it's doing. So um, hopefully this helps some of you out there. Um, I'm going to go really simple here. We're not going to do anything advanced. We're just going to you know, do basically uh, basic bundling of JavaScript, but um, I'm going to go through all like the things you need for a basic setup um, and what exactly they're doing. All right. So let's get started here. So I'm just in a directory here. Um, so basically whenever you're bundling and kind of compiling things, um, for front end work, right? I mean, you can have a more complicated setup, obviously, but obvious, but, um, what it really comes down to is you're going to have a input, uh, directory or like the directory you're working on, like your source directory and an output directory, right? That's going to be like your distribution directory, what, where you bundle your stuff for, um, production, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is make two folders. Um, I'm just going to, you can use whatever naming convention makes sense to you, but I'm just going to use source and distribution. So SRC and DISD, right? And then of course we need to, um, NPM init cause we're going to be using node modules. Okay. Okay. And then we obviously need Webpack. Okay. So NPM I dash D. Uh, if you don't know, that basically saves um, your module as a dev dependency. Um, and we do want to save Webpack as a dev dependency locally. Um, there is some discrepancies out there um, about saving Webpack globally. Um, I believe the docs tells you to. Um, and that's basically so you can run it globally in your terminal, right? But um, you really want to get in the habit of installing things locally um, because, you know, it might not matter so much if you're working on your own, um, but... When you're working on a team, right, the main advantage of installing things locally is that the version is saved in your package JSON, right? So that way, if you give this uh, repository to another person, they can npm install and they'll get the same exact version um, that you have. So, you know, it's, it's just a good practice in general. Um, and, you know, as far as running scripts from the terminal, we're going to be using npm. Uh, scripts for everything, so we don't really have to worry about that. I'll show you how to set all those up. Um, okay, great. So we have um, our folders, and we have our uh, Webpack installed. So the only other thing we're going to do is just create our files, and then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually start making the Webpack config. Um, so I'm going to make two files. So we're going to do uh, in the source folder, we're going to start off with a good old fashioned app.js, okay? And in the distribution folder, um, we're gonna be making an index.html. Um, and I know you're probably thinking like, okay, like why are we putting the index in the distribution? Like that's where you build stuff, that's true. And eventually we will move it out of there later down the road. Um, but for now, I just want you to think like, okay, we're just bundling JavaScript, right? So the source is just gonna take um, our JavaScript code that we're developing with, our bundled, so this is our input folder, right? And then our bundle is gonna be built and placed in the distribution folder. And that is the file that will eventually be referenced by our website, so our index.html, right? Um, so really that is where we're going to put the index because that's where um, everything is going to be kind of bundled as our like public kind of folder okay so i um, just going to write some stuff in here real quick do an h1 tag webpack all right okay and then in app.js i'm going to just write a simple alert i love webpack all right 
Um, okay, so really simple. Um, and now that we got everything set up, in the next video, I'm going to show you the very, very basics of getting a simple bundle built with Wipeback. All right? Cool.